Hey golf fans, welcome to a major championship week edition of Up and Down, where we take a look at what's trending up and what's trending down in the game of golf. Trending up, there's a caddy carousel on the bag of Max Homa this week at Kiowa Island. His full-time looper, Joe Griner, will be clear across the country competing in the U.S. Amateur 4-Ball at Chambers Bay. Enter in Jim Bones Mackay, one of the most sought-after substitutes on the tour since parting ways with his longtime boss, Phil Mickelson. He's been on the bag for Matthew Fitzpatrick and looped for Justin Thomas when he won the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational. Max Home has been playing some of the best golf of his career with four top 10 finishes already this season, including a win in Los Angeles. Should he find himself near the top of the leaderboard again, it will be a profitable week for one of the most recognizable caddies in tour history. Also trending up an unprecedented new rule at the PJ Championship this week. Bones and every other caddy and player in the field will have access to a rangefinder during competitive play as the PGA of America became the first major governing body within the game to allow rangefinders in their premier championships. It's already yielded mixed reviews. Justin Thomas was critical of the decision, saying it diminishes the advantage of having a good caddy. Jordan Spieth pointed out that if you shoot one number and walk off another, you'll have to double check the numbers, and Paul Tesori, longtime caddy of Webb Simpson, was even more outspoken than that. While the decision has been controversial to many, it was news altogether to Tony Finau. During his pre-tournament press conference on Tuesday, he was asked about the decision and had to confirm that that was actually a rule. He noted that he'll inform his caddy of it and they'll use it accordingly, but for now, one thing is clear, it's going to be a mixed bag when it comes to new rules at Kiowa Island. Trending down, staffing at the Minneapolis PXG store. That would be because store manager Derek Holmes qualified for the PJ Championship in dramatic fashion. With a 30-foot par save at the final hole of the qualifying tournament, he now joins 19 other PGA pros in the field at Kiowa Island, which means there's a big week ahead for Derek and for the assistant store manager up in Minneapolis. We wrap things up this week with a couple of storylines to keep an eye on, the first being Jordan Spieth's pursuit of the career Grand Slam. Been some time since that's been a realistic conversation, but fresh off another top 10, should he win at Kiowa Island, he will become just the sixth player in history to win all four major championships. Also in town on the sandy shores of South Carolina, representatives of that pesky Premier Golf League. They're reportedly set to meet with the management teams of several of the top players in the field and will likely have checkbooks in hand. That's all for this episode of Up and Down. For more PGA Championship coverage, you can head over to MorningRead.com. And remember, it's not about whether you hit the perfect approach. It's about whether you get up and down from there.